when you got hired or when you're going to get hired, okay, when you sat down for the interview and they said, tell me a little bit about yourself, why should I hire you? When you said that, what did you say? I'm normal. Run the dice. We'll see what happens. <laughs> they didn't say that. They don't say that, right? Well, you know why? This is the part when I actually say, how's everybody doing? Because we're actually going to change something here today, okay? I want everyone to be, I want everyone to be off the charts. I want you to be outstanding, and that's why somebody actually said that, because this is one of the things that I actually started to change in my life, is that I, wanted, I don't want to have a good life. I don't want to have a great life. I want to have an outstanding life. Well, part of that actually starts with how you even feel and how you would deliver it. They say 18% of everything you say is what you say. 28% is how you say it. Can you imagine, how are you? I'm outstanding. You're like, geez, what's your name? Uh, it's Eeyore. I lost my tail. Um, I mean, my gosh. And by the way, I, I, I go crazy around people who don't want to be outstanding or don't even be positive. It sucks the life out of you. It really, really does. It sucks the life out of you, gang. I was coming down the elevator in the hotel. I'm standing up on Perimeter Mall. And I'm standing there. The guy's walking down the elevator. How are you doing? He goes, um, same old, same old. I'm like, geez, just kill yourself now. He goes, what? I go, man, five more minutes with you. I'll be sucking on an exhaust pipe in the parking lot. I go, I don't want to hang around them. <laughs> All right. So, so first off, just for information, gang, start yelling out where you, you actually, this gentleman said 10. Good for you. 7 or 7D? 7. 7D. 70% 70 that you spend on information. Great. Anybody higher than 70? What would you have? 80. Good job. 80. What about intelligence? How smart are you? Where do you put, do you, how much time you spend on that? Yeah, that's <laughs> I love when someone says zero. I'm dumb as a fence post. I sell stuff all the time. It don't matter. If I were to go to all the people who spoke, or even your companies, and say, if I called your best customer right now, if I called your best customer and said, tell me the top three things they love about your company or your service, what do you think they would say? Tell me, what do you think they'd say? Service, support, the company, what have you, maybe you. You know what they'll never say? Your price. You know what a great starting line is for a relationship, especially for those of you guys who are new out there? You know what I'd do? I'd walk in and say, Mr. Customer, can I ask you a question? What's the top three things your best customers say about you? What are those things? Top three, and then when he or she says them, go, awesome. How can I start to get you to say that to me? It's never about the money when it comes to an emotional problem you're solving them. It's always about the money when it comes to a logical justification of why they should buy your product. Think about that. You're with somebody and they really want to get this thing fixed because you know that your solution is going to solve them, solve their problems, give them their time back, allow them to have a better quality of life. It's not about the money. But when it goes to their boss and they go, why are we spending this much? It's now about the money. So logically, it's always about the money. Emotionally, it's never about the money. Yeah. Do you all agree that sounding like your competition is a bad thing? Yeah. Yes. Then why do you do it? You want to know why? And I used to be really hard on you on that. You know why you do it? It's pretty simple. You don't know any better. You don't know any better. Maya Angelou, she has a wonderful quote. I get my stuff from everywhere. Somebody actually told me one time, if you actually take one person's stuff and rewrite it, that's plagiarism. You can get sued for that. You take five people's stuff and rewrite it, that's called research. You can do that. <laughs> that's true. It's amazing. Okay? So you sit there, and I talk about Maya Angelou. That's, I, get, I get my stuff from her. I'm at a Hallmark store, and I'm looking at something. I go, gosh, that's my class. She has a quote there saying, you do what you, it's similar to this. I'm not going to do it verbatim, but it says, you do what you know how to do. When you know better, you do better. When you, when you leave a voicemail message, what per, if you were going to leave 30 messages, what percentage of people would call you back on an average? The average is about maybe two people. Two people. See, what I love about when I, when I speak and when I train people, no one's telling you you're not working hard. I just want you to work smarter. And I don't know if you're working smarter by being able to tell your boss on Friday, left my 30 or 40 messages, I did my prospecting, nobody called me back, but at least I worked hard. It's not about working hard, it's about working smart. It's not about effort, it's about results. And it's much easier said than done. Pain supersedes everything. It's one of the things I actually teach about in the sales training class. If 90% of what we do is about pain, fear, or discomfort, then why do we walk in and sell feature benefits right out of the gate? We should actually sell pain. See, you can actually say how good you feel. The part I would talk about is how bad do you feel when you don't feel good? Let's focus on that. Do you know how many conversations you have a day how many conversations do you have a day internally within your own brain? You know how many it is? 5,000. Think about when the alarm went off this morning. Got to get up. Oh, my God. The alarm's already. What's your name? No, I'm kidding. But okay. <laughs> okay. 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 But think about it. 
I got to get up. I got to take a shower. I got to brush my teeth. Going to go to the bath. You, you're talking to yourself all the time. It's 5,000 conversations. Let me ask you a question. How are those going? <laughs> I'll stay. Awesome. Awesome. Because by the way, do you know something? The study that I read, 85% of most of the internal conversations you have have a negative connotation to them. Got to get up, go to good breakfast. Got to get downstairs. What time, when's this guy going to stop talking? When's the next break? Uh, <laughs> I got to go to work. We got to go see this customer. Got to go try to sell them something. Th you think about that. If your conversations are mostly negatively negative, what do you think your outcome is going to usually be? Yeah, if it's positive, it was a fluke. So one of the ways I want you to start being more positive, number one is anytime you approach somebody from now on, I want you to say, how are you? You need to say with energy, I'm doing outstanding. They're looking at you, what's your problem? You know what's amazing? People actually get ticked off at you when you're in a good mood.